Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. We are living full time in the RV, so I'm in the RV bathroom. So, in case you're wondering, where is she that her bathroom looks very interesting? Um, this is an RV bathroom. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about the new Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer right here. I do not have TikTok, so I heard about this on Instagram, and I feel like by the time you hear about it on Instagram, it's already blown up and blown out of proportion. But I was really intrigued and wanted to try it for myself. So I got mine on Amazon. And then also in today's video, I wanted to share my current hair care routine. So my hair is has always naturally been fine and thin. But I noticed that every time that I lighten it, if I don't take care of it properly, then a lot of the hair will remain short. It doesn't remain short, it just doesn't grow to its fullest potential. So then I have some hair that is short, and then I have the ends that are growing out longer, and then the ends end up being super stringy, and my hair just feels super dry on the ends, and it's just this whole thing. But I came across this one YouTube channel, Chris from Bombshell, he owns his own salon, it's called Live Left Love, I can't remember the, it's like bombshell volume or something but he has some amazing advice like go through I'll link his channel down below watch his videos he has amazing advice that makes sense kind of like skincare with skincare sometimes you know you don't want to use hyaluronic acid on a dry skin and then if you have dry skin leave it like that you want to seal in that moisture all that stuff so you can be using really great products like hyaluronic acid but if you're not using it properly then you can kind of make it worse for yourself and your skin can actually end up being drier same thing with hair so he has he has some really great sound advice and I've been implementing his Trinity hair care system which is basically taking care of the root the mid shaft and the ends and I have seen my hair go from really really dry after I blow dry it and it had all this products in it my kids just came back too from outside to feeling um, very sleek and moisturized. Close the door because it's getting loud up in here. <laughs> so I'm hoping by implementing the routine my hair is able to grow at its best and do so much better. Before I shampoo and condition, I have this set right here. Just like a random natural set, which is really good. I do like it. But I was convinced that my shampoo was the culprit for my dry hair and it wasn't. It was a mix of the order of the products I was using and how I was using them. But this is all that I have for right now since we are traveling. This is all that I took. I do have a few in my Amazon cart, but we're traveling so I'm waiting to until like our next hub pickup location when I can pick that up and order that. But before I go ahead and shampoo and condition, I'm gonna use the Acidic Bonding Concentrate Intensive Treatment from Redkin right here. I probably have about half of it left. And I used this for the past couple of months. And I'm like, why am I not seeing a difference? Like, this is supposed to be good for your hair. It's kind of like uh, Olaplex number three, I think it is. Very similar in the sense that it's supposed to really help like restructure the hair. And if your hair is really dry and damaged, like mine is on the ends especially right here, this is supposed to help with that. And once I started kind of doing my hair routine in different steps, that's when I actually started noticing a difference. So this stuff does work. But again, if you're not using it in like the proper order, which it depends on your hair type, for me, I have really dry ends that I need help with. You can even see them right now. I'm just kind of like going through and sharing as much as I can, but I'm gonna apply this to wet hair and leave it on for 10 minutes, wash it out, and then that's when I'm gonna go in and shampoo and condition, and then I'll talk about the rest, and I will be right back. Hair is washed. I went ahead and brushed it out very gently with this wide tooth comb right here. You can get them at the dollar store. I got mine from Stassi Accessories. She sent them over with a bunch of claw clips in the past, so I just keep using it. But it's great to kind of like help detangle the hair very gently. Start off with the ends and move your way up. So I went ahead and did that, and I'm gonna apply my products. And the reason, main reason why I even want to share my hair care routine is because I, and I can only speak on my experience and um, my hair type. So I have very fine thin hair. I have fine strands of hair and not a lot of them. So the best of both worlds. And my hair, you can see that it grew out. I haven't colored it. I stopped using as much heat. Sometimes um, I would go like weeks with not even blow drying my hair. And I was just seeing no improvement in my hair whatsoever. I tried so many different things and it just wasn't seeming to work. Like I would use all the leave-in treatments and everything. And then I tried his method of the order of products and 
for me personally it just made a huge difference in my hair so I thought I would share and again I will link his video down below just because I found it so helpful but now I'm gonna go in and apply a leave-in treatment you don't have to use these specific ones these are ones that I just already have so that's why I'm using them and I do think they're nice but here I have the acidic bonding concentrate leave-in treatment and if you don't have really really dry hair then you probably won't need to use um, like a hair mask or the treatment that I did pre-wash treatment my hair is pretty dry in the ends so I did need that and with fine thin hair you know you want to be careful not to use products that are going to weigh it down we all want healthy hair but you don't want hair that looks greasy after you just washed it and is weighed down so I just take a little tiny bit and kind of like rub it in between my arm my arms <laughs> kind of like rub it in between my hands a little bit and then I'll go through and apply it I would say from mid shaft all the way down to the roots kind of cover the roots and then kind of whatever's left over I'll just go through the tops that way I'm not going directly to my roots where they're gonna be greasy or anything I concentrate it on the ends and then just kind of slowly work my way up he makes this analogy in his videos saying you can put all the moisture that you want in your hair but if you have really dry hair it can just leak right out and everything that you did was kind of useless which is what I was experiencing so he recommends sealing it in and then also sealing in the ends using an oil he uses the Olaplex oil which I also have that in my cart but for now I have the way hair oil and this one's not the same they don't really function the same this one's supposed to uh, smooth your hair and add like gloss and everything I'm not sure how it works in terms of sealing the cuticles but again this is what I have so this is what I'm gonna use and I'm only gonna use a little bit because again I have fine thin hair so I'm gonna pump one pump on the tips of my fingers kind of like rub it in through the palms a little bit and then I'm gonna start off at the ends and just seal them in I know I have a lot of dryness and be very very careful with hair oils when you have fine thin hair because the last thing that you want again is like having greasy looking hair after you just washed it. Be very light on this just kind of concentrate it on the ends seal those cuticles so that they can hold in all that moisture that you just put in and that is that that's literally it and now onto the fun part applying the color wow extra large bombshell volumizer and I have already used this I used it on dry hair because I saw a video on dry hair and I loved the results so much so I'm really excited to try it on damp hair it's not meant to be used on dry hair but it does work and this is like a very interesting formula because it's not a mousse usually a mousse is like very airy and foamy this is um, it's almost like, it almost has like a watery consistency to it. it. Doesn't really have a scent. I love that. And it's super lightweight. Doesn't make the hair feel gunky. Hair feels super manageable. None of that like really weird feeling like you have something in your hair. You almost cannot feel it, but you see the volume. I'm going to do a few pumps. You can see how it's kind of like a watery consistency. It's hard to tell because it's so bright in here, but it's like a very interesting formula. And I'm just going to apply it all throughout the hair and again I love that this product does not make the hair feel gunky or weird super weightless and I think they did a really good job with it I did use it once on damp hair I totally forgot and I didn't use a lot so I started off with a little bit and I wanted to see how it would make my hair feel and my hair felt almost as if I didn't apply anything to it but I saw a little bit of lift and volume this time I used a little bit more Always start off with a little bit if you're unsure of how a product is going to sit in your hair and then kind of like work your way up. I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. I have this blow dryer from Musu. I've had it for such a long time and it just works great. It has a function in the middle where it goes from like hot to cold when you press it. it just, it's not consistently hot. It's not consistently cold. It kind of like goes in between the two. So I really like that and then it just blow dries my hair really fast. I don't have a round brush. I feel like having a round brush would have made this so much better and give my hair a lot more lift, but I got rid of it because I don't really have a lot of space in here and I wasn't using it as much, so I was like, eh, I'm not gonna need it. And now I'm like, I wish I never got rid of it. That's RV life for you. All right, this is the hair blow dried, and if you have fine thin hair, then you know when your hair like blows in the wind, <laughs> then it gets can get tangled so fast. So brushing it out after blow drying without using a round brush. It's usually not that fun, but it is what it is. I just wanted to show you guys how sleek and healthy. It's still such a journey. This is like only a week of using 
this uh, routine right here, but I've just seen instant results, so I really wanted to share because it's something that I struggled with myself personally. You can still tell that my hair has, you know, dryness. You can see some frizzy pieces right here, but compared to before, I'm actually going to start a picture here. This was literally like a week apart where I used a completely different hair routine, but it was so embarrassingly frizzy on the ends and damaged that it made my hair look shorter. It just looked really, really bad. Not a good look. As for the volumizer, I think it's really great. It's definitely a lot better than using like, um, what do you call those, like volumizing sprays. Those can kind of make your hair feel, you definitely feel those in your hair, even though they're super lightweight as well. This is just such an interesting formula. It's so easy to use. You can use it in dry hair, even though I don't think they recommend it, but I do feel like it works well on dry hair as well. And it does, it gives you like this weightless, amount of a volume. I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but when I used it on dry hair, my hair held a curl better. It had volume at the roots even into like the next day. So I do think that this is actually a really good product if you have fine thin hair and you're looking for like a little bit of boost. My hair still feels really, really soft and manageable, almost as if I didn't apply anything at all. You literally cannot feel it. So I think they did a really good job with this product, with this formula right here, and definitely something that I would implement into my hair routine if you have fine thin hair like I do. And then another product that I really love is a volumizing powder, which I'll actually grab. I have one here from Puff Me, but I'm all out. There's like almost nothing in here, just like a tiny bit. And I mentioned this in a shorts, and this is such a great product to add to the roots for like extra grit. This will make your hair gritty. You only apply it to the roots. A little bit goes a long way, so be very conservative with how much you use, just like a pump dispense a pump, there's almost nothing in here, and kind of rub it into the roots, you will feel it right away. It adds like this grittiness to it, but this really helps your roots kind of hold that volume. I have one from Boldify, this one right here, and this is equally, it's the same product, it works just as great. You can get, there's so many different kinds now, I saw that Joico has one, and you only concentrate it at the roots. Don't apply it throughout the hair, because then your hair is gonna be so gritty and gross, and be very, very, conservative in the amount that you use like I said a little bit goes such a long way so don't even pump it down all the way just like a small little pump will dispense just the right amount and then just kind of rub it in and you will feel that grittiness right away and this helps your hair almost like a root lifter after when your hair is already dry so those are just some products that I have been loving to give my hair some volume make it look healthy compared to what it was before you can see that I have all this hair right here that needs some extra TLC and never got to grow out to its full potential, so now my ends look super stringy. My hair's already on the thinner end, but when my hair doesn't grow out all at the same time, it looks even thinner on the ends, so I, it's been struggling, but again, I hope that going forward, it's only gonna get better from here. So those are my thoughts and opinions. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I will link all these products down below if you guys are interested to quickly shop. My, they are affiliate links. Thank you to anyone who uses them, and thank you to everyone that watches my videos. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Thank you.